today's video i am going to explain legendes equation so this topic is from linear differential equations with constant quotients an equation of the form a plus bx par n into d par n plus p1 a plus bx par n minus 1 d par n minus 1 plus and so on pn of y is equal to q where p1 p2 p3 and so on pn are the real constants and q is a function of x defined on an interval i is called the legendes linear differential equation see here it should be of the form a plus bx par n and this can be solved by substituting a plus bx so in place of a a plus bx we have to substitute e par z and again log of a plus bx should be substituted by z so using this we have to solve this problem so an example of the legendary equation is like this so this is also the most important question and see the solution here so as it is the legendary differential equation there is a substitution so we have to keep x plus 1 as z as e par z and next one log of x plus 1 is equal to z and again the same thing runs see here x plus 1 whole square into d square is equal to theta into theta minus 1 and here x plus 1 into d is equal to theta so all these substitutions if i made in the question see here so this is x plus 1 whole square d square can be written as theta into theta minus 1 and this can be written as theta plus 1 of y see here plus 1 of y is equal to 2 sin of in place of log of 1 plus x what is log of 1 plus x this is z so now this is transformed into this linear equation see here so this is theta square minus theta plus theta plus 1 of y is equal to 2 into this is sin z so if i cancel this theta and what remains here so this will be theta square plus 1 of y is equal to 2 into this is sin z first of all we have to find the complementary factor for that the auxiliary equation is f of m is equal to 0 so if i write uh, f of m is equal to 0 here in this equation so in place of theta if i write m this will be m square plus 1 so m square is equal to minus 1 and here m is equal to plus or minus i then r y c will be c1 cos z plus this is c2 sin z so if i transform into normal form here so as we have x plus 1 is equal to e par z and log of x plus 1 is equal to z if i substitute these two in this equation our yc will become this is constant 1 cos of what is z here z is nothing but log of x plus 1 plus this is c2 sin of log of this is x plus 1 so this is equation a so these are the substitution back substitutions we we made see this is complementary factor and after that we have to go with particular integral so this is 1 by theta square plus 1 see here this is theta square plus 1 and this side it is 2 into sin z as you know that theta square is replaced by minus b square so in place of theta square if i write minus 1 see here this is minus 1 plus 1 2 into this is sin z now i'll cancel this minus and plus and see if you get a cancellation in the denominator so we have to put one z and we have to make a derivative for this that is 2 into theta this is 2 sin z see here now i can cancel this 2 on from the numerator and denominator this will be theta so if theta is in the numerator we'll make a derivative if it is in the denominator we'll make integration for the sin for sin z it is nothing but the cos z so yp is equal to minus z into cos z again we have a substitution here back substitution in place of z we can write see here in place of z what we can write log of so this is log of x plus 1 into cos of what is z here since this is this is cos of log x plus 1 so this is nothing but yp as you know that the general solution y is equal to this is yc plus yp see here 
our general solution is equal to what is yc here this is c here this is c1 cos of log x plus 1 plus c2 sin log of x plus 1 minus this is log of x plus 1 into cos of log x plus 1 so this is how we have to solve and this is the final answer same as Cauchy's Euler equation and here is an extension of this x values as well as the y values and the next equation here is see here this is also of the legendary equation and if you observe this one this question is also so important and here and let me explain you what are the substitutions which we have to make see here and again see for the solution so we have 2x plus 3 is equal to this is e power z and log of this is 2x plus 3 is equal to z and at the meantime so 2x is equal to e power z minus 3 and what is our x value e power z minus 3 by 2 so i need the x value as we have 6x in the right side so next one this is 2x plus 3 whole square into d square can be replaced by this is 2 square into theta into this is theta minus 1 and next 2x plus 3 into d is replaced by 2 power 1 into theta and these are all the substitutions which we have to use for transforming see this is the second question so this is nothing but 2 square theta into theta minus 1 minus 2 into for this one what we have to write this is 2 theta and this value is minus 12 of y is equal to 6 times of in place of x we have to put e power z minus 3 by 2 and see here now i'll cancel this for 3 times see so if i cancel for 3 times see what remains this is 4 theta into theta minus 1 this is minus 4 theta minus 12 of y is equal to 3 times of e power z minus 3 this is e power z minus 3 so if i multiply this will be 4 theta square minus 4 theta this is also minus 4 theta plus 12 of y is equal to 3 into e power z minus 9 so this will be 4 theta square minus 8 theta minus 12 of y is equal to 3 into e power z minus 9. Now, so we have to find the complementary factor for this. For this, the auxiliary equation is, the auxiliary equation is f of m is equal to 0. So, in place of theta, if I keep m, so this will be 4m square minus 8m minus 12 is equal to 0. So, if I cancel, if I take 4 common and cancel, this will be m square minus 2m minus 3 is equal to 0. So, m square minus 2m minus 3 is equal to 0. And if I find the factors for minus 3, see here, this will be minus 3 plus 1. See, got it? So, this is minus 3 plus 1. So, this will be minus 3m plus m minus 3 is equal to 0. So, if I take m common, m minus 3. And if I take 1 common, this will be m minus 3 is equal to 0. If I take m minus 3 common, this will be m plus 1 is equal to 0. So, m is equal to 3. And here, m is equal to minus 1. Therefore, our yc is equal to c1 e power minus z and c2 e power this is 3z and see here our yc. So, we have a substitution here. So, 2x plus 3 is equal to see here 2x plus 3 is equal to e power z. So, 2x plus 3 is equal to e power z and log of 2x plus 3 value is equal to z. So, this substitution which we have to make here. So, yc value is nothing but this is c1. e power x is nothing but this is 2x plus 3 whole inverse and this is 2x plus 3 whole cube and this is equation number a and which is complementary factor and coming to this particular integral c what happens here. So, particular integral will be yp value will be 1 by this is 4 theta square minus 8 theta minus 12 3 into e power z minus 9 therefore our yp value c it will be 
So yp value will be 1 by 4 theta square minus 8 theta minus 12 3 into e power z minus minus 4 theta square minus 8 theta minus 12 into 9. Here we have to keep in place of theta as 1 and here we have to keep theta is equal to 0. See if I if I place this one. So yp value will be so this is 4 minus 8 minus 12 3 into e power z and this value is 0 0 this is minus 12 into 9. So yp value will be this is minus 4 and this is minus 16. See here minus 3 by 16 into e power z and this is 9 by 12. Now see here yp value will be minus 3 by 16 e power z. If I cancel so 3 3's and 3 4's and this will be 3 by 4. 3 by 4 as you know that what is so we have from the question substitution 2x plus 3 is equal to e power z. So in place of in place of e power z I am going to write minus 3 by 16 that is 2x plus 3. This is 2x plus 3 and this is 3 by 4 and this is equation B. As you know that the general solution y is equal to the general solution y is equal to the complementary factor plus the particular integral. So y is equal to what is the complementary factor. Just let me show you this one. So this value what is equation 1 this is c1 this is 2x plus 3 whole inverse and c2 this is 2x plus 3 whole cube. So this is 2x plus 3 whole cube and this one yp value is nothing but minus 3 by 16 times of 2x plus 3 plus 3 by 4 and this is the general solution and this is how we have to solve and this is nothing but the legendary equation and this is the process please have a note and make a note if we have 2x plus 3 if we have a quotient of x so it should be written as 2 square if it's square we have to write square if it's cube we have to write 2 cube like that so this is the only thing which you have to remember and rest is same and thank you so much for watching and here is the solution please practice please make a note of all these points definitely you can solve by your own and if you really like you know what to do please share it with your friends as well and i'll be posting many more uh, problems in this series have a look at those thank you so much